Welcome back to Steve's World of Wonders. Okay, let's see what's happening on Spark Street today, if anything at all. I'm here at around 10.30 a.m. I think this is a storage area for event events, things that they need for events. There's a mural on there, nice painting. It also doubles as a stage. These doors open up and it's a, a little stage for performers. Here's the carving competition. None of the carvers are here right now. Canadian Stone Carving Festival. Guess they're gonna have a competition. So far I don't see the interactive sculptures I was looking for. Maybe they're way further up, but I don't see anything up there. Oh yeah, I see them now. I go the more it makes musical noises this is actually pretty neat this is one of their better interactive things and at night these lights are better easier to see how come there's no more balls coming out it's stuck Here we go. There's a 
couple more over here. This one's making a lot of noise. This one sounds like a horror movie. Well, I mean, that was somewhat interesting. It's, a, it's one of their better interactive sculptures here on, that I've seen on Spark Street. The other one that's comparable, might be even better, was the teeter-totters. I'll put a tag in the corner of the screen so you can see that teeter-totter interactive installation, or Seesaw. That installation was called Impulse, one of the more fun ones that was on Spark Street. Also, check out my new playlist for interactive sculptures. I've gathered quite a few videos on this type of uh, installation and uh, you can click on the card here in the corner for that. journey through time here and now. Lapse is a modern take on the traditional hourglass that gives us the opportunity to literally take control of time. From the top of their 7.8 feet, 2.33 meters, the giant, the six giant modules invite the public to change time by turning the steering wheel at their desired pace. 
in one direction or the other, and to take another look at their perception of time. Time catchers are rewarded with a sound and light experience that inspires immediate wonder. Take control for a full lap of laps. Hold your breath, sing a song, clap your hands, propose marriage, or whatever inspires you. Everyone gets to choose the time they want to spend here. This passage of time is truly yours. Spark Street. There's a bear. And there's a little bear. And there's a salmon. Bike Cafe. The totem. Nice wooden carving. Look at that. Those are nice. Look at little birds. A little Inuit sculpture there. I really like this design. That's really pretty. Wow, look at this owl. Those two in the doorway. Look at this tandem bike parked at the uh, bike cafe. I always like these lions. In 1967-68, uh, by the Ottawa Electric Building, there was a, a wax museum in here, or there, I can't remember what address, but one of these. There's the Haunted Walk ticket office there, and Darcy McGee's pub patio. I'm giving a tour here. And there's some kind of filming going on here, some kind of news station or something. <laughs> Haunted Walk box office down there. Take you on tours of all the haunted sites, supposed haunted sites in Ottawa. And this is uh, Spark Street. That's my walk down Spark Street uh, this morning. Didn't get to see the stone carving today, but that's, that's all right. There's Darcy McGee's pub there. And at the end of Spark Street, you can see the National Arts Center, the War Memorial, with a peak of Chateau Laurier in behind. And you can see Parliament over here. And 
I always kind of, I always like this building here. With the clock on the corner. So here's what they offer at the bike cafe if you're interested. Espresso, artisan coffee, beer, wine, cider, tea, ice cream, sandwiches, and more open seven days a week. We got a little patio here. I like their neon sign here. Retro rides, Ottawa bike cafe, specialty drinks, ice cream, popcorn, baked goods, a little spot to eat out here. There's Parliament up there, the Peace Tower, and uh, this is uh, where we were walking today. Sparks. This is the Four Corners store. Thank you. 